We're taking you inside a subway station where strap hangers can do more than just catch a train. One train riders can also raise a glass at the city's most exclusive new watering hole if they can find it. Yeah, News Force Ray Meta got an inside look at the subway speakeasy. If you got to the subway booth, you've walked too far. One of New York City's newest bars is behind the door at the 28th Street stop, and it's got a long waiting list. Next stop, 28th Street. And if you're lucky, a cocktail before you even make it out of the station. Between street level and the subway platform, there is a small nook of a bar called La Noche with limited seating and an overflowing list of people trying to get in via Instagram. 10 people at a time, 12 people at a time. It's just going to take a while to accommodate everybody. Wow. The owner obtained his liquor license last March, just as the pandemic shut the city down. Randomly find this place, and I was like, um, it's a little bit smaller than what I, I was looking for, but it's like, it's such an amazing uh, concept. And uh, living in Tokyo in the past for, for five years, I, uh, I knew that you could do amazing thing in the subway station. He was finally able to open the bar up in October. On Friday night, a special guest and some co-workers stopped by to congratulate the bar on making a COVID comeback. People are coming back to the workplace. People are coming back to bars and restaurants. Everything's staying open later. You know, we're doing our part to bring the city back, and we're just grateful for others who are doing their part, too. As New York City gets back on track, this speakeasy, hoping their light at the end of the subway tunnel, shines bright. A lot of excitement and a lot of hope for the future. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of opportunity and a lot of new people with new energy um, that want to make a, a, you know, an impact in New York. And if you can't get a reservation, the owner says just knock on the door, take a chance. They may take you in. Reporting from Chelsea, I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York.